Germany now crossing our borders keep very feeling the real of the high cost of living by the current war in Ukraine. Many people are now hoping that the government will step in to stem the ever-increasing prices of food, petrol and other services in the country. Some businessmen are now calling on the state to control the prices of commodities entering the country to keep traders taking advantage of the situation. The rise in prices is worrying at all levels, especially for food products. Lelina Mendes, a Kivedian businessman, explained that they are aware of the international situation, but not everything is due to the international situation. Often, producers and traders take advantage of crisis to raise prices, and therefore, they don't have a law that limits prices as there is no supervision and control. Prices in Cape Verde has increased by 0.7% in February and accumulate to a rise of 7.1% compared to the same month of 2021, indicating the latest data from the Cape Verde Iron E. From corn to olive oil, rice as well as fuel, bread, sugar, flour and meat are some of the products whose price rises Cape Verdeans consider exaggerated and call for intervention from the government and regulatory authorities. Maria Daluz, 50, is from the municipality of Santa Catarina, north of Santiago Island. She left a shop in Achada de Santo Antonio with just two bottles of oil, each at 265 escudos. That is 2.4 euros. But she wanted more, as she added that she hasn't even bought corn for her chicken that lay eggs. She further called upon the government to intervene regarding an increase in food prices in Cape Verde. Fuel prices rose by 5% in April, the maximum limit stipulated by the government, but have accumulated an average rise of 42.6% in the last year, as well as a rise of 7% since last January. Cape Verde's Prime Minister has previously ruled out the possibility of an increase in the national minimum wage due to the economic crisis. Currently, Cape Verde has set a national minimum wage of 13,000 escudos, that is 117 euros, in the private sector and 15,000 escudos, that is 135 euros in the civil service.